Welcome to our What's New in SOLIDWORKS 2019 series. I'm Tom and I'll take you through Visualize. Visualize has been a great addition since its introduction in 2016 to create photo quality content. One of the first things to mention in this new release is the denoiser which came out in Service Pack 3 of 2018. Using AI it intelligently understands what the noise is in your scene, i.e. the grainy areas, and removes it, allowing you to get a superb quality render in very few passes. The denoiser activates at around 10 passes, at which point you'll see a dramatic improvement in render quality. Rendering times using the denoiser are up to 10 times faster. Visualize now has support for MDL materials. Material definition language materials are materials that can be used across multiple applications that use the NVIDIA iRay or Chaos Group's V-Ray technology. So it's great that we can now use these materials and the other major benefit is that there are already libraries of these materials available for download. An auto recover folder can be set for visualized projects similar to SOLIDWORKS. Customizing keyboard shortcuts is now supported in Visualize, so you can be more productive. Cross highlighting between the model in the graphics area and the tree now occurs, similar to SOLIDWORKS, and it's very easy to toggle visibility of components within the tree. Anything that has been hidden shows with the I symbol next to it. It's now easy to duplicate items with the RMB menu, and you can now drag and drop items to reorder the model tree. We also improved decal support with more mapping types available. Moving into Visualize Professional, it's now possible to use a video as a decal in an animation. As you can see, the video emits light into the scene and illuminates the MacBook. Coming soon to Visualize is a physics engine where we can jitter components. The plates on the left are perfectly aligned, which is not what you would get in the real world. So we can set up contacts between them and essentially shake them. Also, we can add gravity too. Here, we're dropping some cups into the sink. As you can see, gravity takes care of the falling direction and the contacts between the mugs and the sink take care of how these components sit in their final position. To make those components similar to that would be a painful task. Visualize now offers extremely realistic animations of cars driving. You define what components make up your wheel assembly, and then choose a predefined driving behavior or create your own. There are many settings that allow you to control suspension, wheel friction, etc. You can then watch the car bounce and move like it would in real life. Inside the driving simulator, we can create the path the car is going to run along. We can also adjust parameters, such as the wheel friction, wheel turn range, front ride height and rear ride height. It's also very easy to adjust the path the car takes. As we can see here, different camera angles can be created and used for capturing the motion. The movement of the suspension here is a very good representation of how a truck would act in real life. In summary, we've seen 2019 give us AI denoiser, real-time physics, gravity and jittering, video decals, driving simulator, NVIDIA MDL materials, and automatic data recovery. Thank you for watching. Thank you.